Hello and welcome to the Engage Brain Podcast. So we're getting started. Uh, last podcast of uh, the J term here, talking about sports and stress. Uh, so Jason, JT, uh, what got you guys interested in sports? Uh, since we're both basketball guys, I feel like it's just a fitting thing that we could both relate to, and then related to stress, being a college student, college athlete, that it'd be easiest for it to talk about and mm-hmm. interesting to research. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what uh, sports did you guys play uh, growing up? Um, I played basketball, football, soccer, baseball. I did track. I did lacrosse. Yeah, I did all kinds of stuff. I mean. Yeah. I pretty much did whatever. I pretty much have played every sport mm-hmm. from. That's the way it was for me. I tried everything since I was a little kid: soccer, baseball, football, basketball. I played basketball, football, baseball throughout high school. Yeah. I, I swam when I was a little kid. Yeah. But that's how it goes growing up. Just try everything, see what you like. Yeah, definitely. I, I was kind of along the same lines. I uh, played um, basketball, uh, baseball, uh, soccer, uh, and then ran track, cross country. Mm-hmm. I can't say uh, spread out too much from there. Uh, but uh, what have you guys not found uh, from uh, kind of the research angle? So, I mean, we are, we're all kind of anecdotally huge sports fans mm-hmm. and uh, mm-hmm. being a part of uh, sports. Uh, but how about from the research side? What have um, you been finding for how sports help with stress? Yeah, what we found, we were looking more at, like, the team sport aspect, mm-hmm. like, ma- for the majority of our research. And we found that um, being in a team sport helps with, like, anxiety and mm-hmm. responsibility even. Like, it helps you like that like accountability aspect like being able to like rely on someone else like you don't want to let them down and then it talked about how those involved in team sports had way reduced depression anxiety all those different kinds of levels were all reduced when they were involved in a team sport mm-hmm. so i thought that was interesting i thought yeah. that was cool we, we also found like kind of that or at least i found that um team sports also like made it increase your stress level slightly because they have so much more um, like you're, all the other people on your team are riding on you, and if you disappoint them, then it's bad for everybody. So it, that also we found that increases stress. Mm-hmm. It's a little give or take. You have to find your balance. That's, yeah, that's why some. That's why some people are better at the individual sports, doing like bike riding and yoga stuff like that. Track. Yeah, that's exactly. more their speed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, tennis. Uh, mm-hmm. I found some of the ones like you brought up swimming, like swimming and track are both individual sports, but then they're scored as yeah. teams. Uh, so it's kind of weird to think mm-hmm. like. Um, or, and even the relays within them, so you're normally competing by yourself, but mm-hmm. then at some point you kind of have that responsibility of yeah. others. Yeah, definitely. So, so mm-hmm. kind of weird places. But in your research, are, are they comparing sp- team sports to um, individual sports or just uh, sports in general? Uh, it depended on where you were looking. Like okay. Some did. Some compared the two, and some was just focused on a one or the other. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, I found some of both as well. Yeah, and, and so looking at them, do you think that they're pointing to um, – exercise and sports or is it particular to being a part of the team that's uh, kind of the explaining factor for some of these findings um i really think it depends on like what you're looking for when you're Mm -hmm. like going out researching because a lot of you can find a lot of articles on like the benefits of exercise and just exercise and the same goes with being on a team so i feel like it's whatever you're going out there looking for like you you can find information on both so Mm -hmm. yeah Yeah. I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think because I think, JT, you bring up an interesting point that it is both helpful for stress, but then there's that kind of no. um, accountability mm-hmm. that uh, the mm-hmm. team places on you for um, performing to the, the right level. So if I run a, the wrong play uh, in basketball or football and that, how that leads to yeah. the other team um, exactly. you know, doing something. So how does that, you know, how does that work? Yeah. Uh, but then also kind of the ability to um, celebrate with your team uh, versus, uh, you know, like, how you don't really have anyone to celebrate with on just the individual accomplishment, yeah. just like yeah. the self esteem booster. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I win a match in tennis or whatever, and I, you know, like high five my coach or yeah, something definitely. like that, or I, I'm playing golf and I, I yeah. shake my caddy's hand or something like that. <laughs> uh, it's not like hitting a game winning three pointer uh, on the road uh, right. with uh, yeah. the buzzer going off and mm-hmm. uh, you know dog piling that. that <laughs> yeah. uh, too bad for the Prairie Wolves last night. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, how about, uh, have you found anything that's been confusing uh, in your research uh, about sports and stress? Uh, I think, like, still what we've been talking about this whole time is differentiating the individual between team and, like, finding the benefits and negative aspects of it. Because, as you said, like, it's 
it helps with your anxiety and stress, but it also adds it too. So it's kind of a give or take depending on what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of hard, like just sifting through that and finding like valuable information that we could use. Mm -hmm. Yeah, finding like yeah, I thought that was I agree with that. Finding like the information on both, I thought was really difficult because we could find some on just the team aspect and we could find mm -hmm. just on the um, individual aspect. But then when it came together, that was what was what was really helpful. I thought. Yeah, uh, and I wonder, did you find anything about like? Um, individuals who contribute negatively to teams. Uh, so I think of like, uh, there's oftentimes like a, a glue guy on the team, so mm -hmm. maybe not the best player, but like really ties the team together. Mm -hmm. uh, somehow like what, what thing they bring to the team. Uh, and then also guys that, uh, you just, they're like a, a bad. You just kind of break the yeah, team, kind of like a, a, ca a cancer to the team. Yeah, or, right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so like I look at the uh, Knicks right now, and uh, kind of Melo's being yeah, thrown out. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and so like, what does that do, you know, to the team? I we didn't. I don't. I don't know if you came across. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't come across any articles, but like every everyone who's been on the team kind of understands that feeling. Like it, mm -hmm. it just brings down everyone's morale, and right. it kind of just it ruins it for everyone, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just from, like, personal experience, I mean, I've definitely played with guys who are self-centered and want the best for themselves and not the mm -hmm. team. Yeah. And definitely those guys that want the team first and have, we, when you have more of those kind of guys, mm -hmm. teams are definitely more successful, I'd say. Yeah, so do you think that there's anything out there, like a recipe to best best way to get team chemistry? Um, I don't know. That's a tough question. I don't know if there really is a recipe for team chemistry or not. I feel like you just kind of, if you have guys that click, you do. And then, because there's always going to be people you just don't get along with. <laughs> but, I mean, when you get successful teams, you're going to get past that and just forget about it when you're on the court. So I don't know if there's exactly a recipe for it, but some successful teams find a way to do it. Mm -hmm. So I mean, with our whole basketball program at Loras, yeah. um, family is like our, one of our biggest yeah. things that we focus on a lot. Mm -hmm. So, like, I feel like that whole atmosphere that we've kind of created has led to, like, our success. And I feel like if a lot of teams made, created, like, families, like, because we're really mm -hmm. close, our whole team is, if they created that kind of atmosphere, then they could definitely be more successful and have more chemistry. Yeah. I feel like we saw that in a lot of the articles, too. Like, that was important. Like, they, everyone, everyone that was on the team was, like, say, the family-type atmosphere. Like, mm -hmm. that's the way the relationships end up being. Yeah. Yeah, because one thing I was thinking about is, like, the buy-in. Uh, so, mm -hmm. uh, like, this year, Chris Martin comes in as a new coach and has to kind of, like, create that atmosphere yeah. of mm -hmm. the, you know, the different things. So um, family has been, like, one aspect. Uh, but you have to get those players who, uh, you know, freshmen uh, from yeah. this class, the uh, people, sophomores through seniors who had been with a different coach, transfers. Mm -hmm. How do you get everyone kind of uh, on the same page yeah. uh, with something? It's, it's tough. I mean, it's... He did, he's done a good job of it, for sure, here, as an mm -hmm. example. But it's just getting everyone to buy in for the same cause and everyone knows what they're all working for, all the hard work they're putting in for is for the same goal. And you mm -hmm. have to have that mentality that it's all worth it to get there to in the end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and do you think that uh, um, looking at uh, the most successful teams, do you think they're the least stressed? Uh, or do they have kind of that, um, maybe not negative stress, but that... Uh, kind of use stress of, of that accountability on people, pushing uh, them to be better. Yeah, I would say back to that, like, whole, um, sorry, I just lost my train of thought. Um, but, yeah, I think that, so, go ahead. Sorry, they definitely, I, I feel like, like they definitely I have totally the, my, <laughs> totally the <laughs> they definitely have, like, the use stress, because mm -hmm. everything's clicking, like, they're a successful team, and, like, everyone gets along, everyone's doing well, but you have that stress to succeed. It's not really necessarily bad stress, but it's, like, we know what we have to do. Like you still have that pressure on yourself that you have to get the job done. So you always have that pressure. And I feel like successful teams have more of it because they're expected to do it. Mm -hmm. If you're a losing team, it's just kind of like you're stressed out because you're fighting with each other, but there's not really a, like a positive stress to win games because you're not expected to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, it's like finding that balance is what yeah. I think is the really what's really important because Coach Martin last couple games because we've been like fighting for conference championship or whatever, mm -hmm. he's been challenging us and saying, I know, like, there is, like, he's not saying that there's not pressure. Like, in his pregame speeches, he'll say, mm -hmm. there is pressure, and you guys have to know that there's pressure, and that's going to bring us to to come together and play well. Yeah. Well, I think that's perfect. We'll start to kind of wrap up things here. Uh, the last couple of questions, unrelated to, ne uh, not necessarily related to stress and, and team sports, uh, but kind of uh, more random things as I like to learn about stuff. Is there anything you guys would like to promote uh, in the coming 
How many weeks here? Um, so you definitely go and watch the basketball team play. Just see mm-hmm. how the team chemistry works there. Just like that's a good positive team that you can watch and like mm-hmm. see how great team sports are and how yeah. awesome like that atmosphere is. Mm-hmm. Get a feel for it. Yeah, we play UD on Saturday. Right, it's a big one. Definitely. Yeah, um, tough for it to be J term break. Exactly. Yeah, that does. I don't hopefully. know what what UD schedule is, but hopefully yeah. they are also not in school, so they uh, don't uh, yeah. bring more, more yeah. Yeah. Uh, than we do. Uh, and then the last thing, uh, as I said, I like to learn. Uh, do you guys have any recommendations for for me or anyone else? Uh, anything um, you know from your personal interests? Um. I can't think of anything. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I liked, yeah, I liked what we did. Mm-hmm. Thought a lot, of, a lot of things we did were. Yeah, I like everything. Me out, yeah. I thought it was interesting. I thought the whole class was interesting. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, I, I'm just trying to think of other things that I've had recently. I, I like some of the. Um, I like Cincinnati. I'd recommend everyone go there. Uh, yeah, yeah and we, you, did, and we you did. guys, go if you guys get a chance, you should head out there sometime uh, yeah. by yourselves. So just to like kind of walk around. Out, yeah. uh, they seem pretty friendly to to visitors. Okay. I enjoyed the high B trip, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. I, I, I hope it doesn't rain later, but uh, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to trying out Swiss Valley. Yeah, for sure. I